how much hair came out after detangling all the clippings. So I hung the hair to dry outside on some coat hangers um, and you can see it in the natural light and then this is just a closer look at the And I'm just gonna hang the hair to dry. I just went ahead and grabbed my dome shaped spandex cape. I love this cape you guys for my wigs. It is nice and it, it is snug. So I do apologize guys. I did lose some footage of when I started installing the hair at the nappy area. As I got to where my closure was, I just started sewing the closure so you won't be able to see any gap between the waves and the closure and it also helps lay the closure down flat I love the way it looks guys this is the first time that I've actually installed but a mix I don't really measure anything out I just eyeball it powder first and then add a little bit of developer and start with a small amount of the developer and add a little more if you need it hair out as flat as possible Now just watch the hair and determine how light you want it. I kept it on for about 15 minutes and after that you're just going to rinse it really good and co-wash it. After it is dried and installed it looked like this and my leave out blends way better than it did with the darker natural color of the bundle. So this is the original curly pattern. That's what it looks like and this is what it looks like flat iron. So I'm going to wet this one and we're going to see how it reverts. You know what guys, because this hair has all the product in it from the heat protectant, I feel like. to be really nice and curly so as you see I'm just gonna continue that with the rest of my hair until I look like this <laughs> and started taking down my hair and ladies <laughs> this is what it looks like <laughs> yes. no lie I was honestly surprised myself because I did not think it was gonna come out fabulously but you know how something comes out you're just like yes yeah that's exactly how I was feeling <laughs> because they were a little flat for me. Tell me what you think and tell me if you guys try it. Uh, if you have not seen my first video about- I applied my styler and then two strand twisted all the way to the end. I cut a little bit of the end and then bantu knotted the section. Now we're all done. Twisted bantu knots completed. I applied some argan oil to my fingers to ease unraveling as well as to prevent excess frizz. The bantu knot out was nicely defined as well as super soft. This is how it looks after I have unraveled each of the bantu knots. Beautiful curl definition, lots of volume and really natural looking curls.